G'day viewers, doing something a little different today, showing you how I prepare some drinks for occasional imbibing. It's not big and clever to get drunk all the time, kids. This is just a sometimes thing. And sometimes I like to flavor drinks. Now you've probably heard like people talking about Skittle vodka, they dissolve Skittles in vodka. And yeah, so you get color and flavor in them. I thought I'd do a few slightly different things. So I've got some components around. I have, of course, the vital one. I've got my uh, Crystal Head vodka. And yes, I bought this solely for the bottle it comes in. So I'd had the skull and it was also part of a gift pack that actually had skull shot glasses as well. So well worth it. And it turns out it's actually quite a nice vodka. I'm not really a vodka drinker. I mainly use it as a mixer, but this is actually quite nice by itself. And I thought rather than Skittles, I'm trying uh, an American candy. It's my handy after Halloween, uh, sweet tarts. And I thought I'd actually do a comparison. I'm gonna go with a natural flavor as well. So I'm going to do one batch with lemon skin and one with the yellow lollies, you know, theoretically lemon flavored lollies and see which tastes better. I know which one's going to taste more sugary, obviously, but we'll see which tastes better and I'll show you the steps. You might not have as stupendous a uh, lemon as this. Don't feel bad if you don't, any lemon will do, uh, but I'll show you how I put it all together and we'll let it stand for about a week and then we'll do a taste test and see what's what. First things first, need to sort out your colors. We want all the yellow ones and then we're gonna smash them up so they'll blend easier. Then you peel your lemon, collect all your rind, good to go. All right, so we have our flavor components. Now we need to mix them and see if they infuse over a period of time. So we're going to uh, split up the vodka into some containers. I do something really simple, like I'm just reusing these water bottles. Uh, I don't know if it's really important for it to be glass, but I think plastic can uh, change the flavor of what you put in it. So I think glass is a good option. If you have glass bottles at your disposal, use them. Okay, so after a bunch of very unphotogenic fart assing around, I've got the lollies in here. Uh, I've never actually used these before, so I don't know A, how well they'll dissolve, uh, B, what it'll taste like. So we'll get to discover that together. That was far more mucking about uh, and seeing worthwhile. At least with the lemon, it's much more straightforward. Nice little strips of lemon to put into the vodka. This looks a lot more photogenic than this, quite honestly, at the moment. This has got a cloudy powder happening. We'll see how much this dissolves over time. We might check in on both of them during the week and see how they're going. But I'm going to leave these, I'm gonna lie them on their sides. I don't know if that makes any difference, but you know, um, wine's always laid on its side. Why not lay this on its side too? Uh, I'm gonna leave it for about a week and uh, then do a taste test and we'll see what it's like. All right, so time has passed and we've got our two vodkas. Uh, the lolly one is predictably far more colored with the artificial colors. Although uh, I'm fairly impressed with how much yellow came through from the lemon and the lemon rind might make nice garnishes for drinks as well. Now, this any lolly based one you do is going to have to be filtered probably twice because of all the residue. The lemon one, there is actually a little bit of residue in there, so I might just filter this one once. Filtering's pretty straightforward. Just run the drink through some coffee filter paper. This is the lemon peel infused vodka. You can see it's picked up a little sort of limey yellow color in there, which is a nice little touch, slightly more color than I thought it would. And now I want to put it into a nice serving receptacle. Personally, I like to serve drinks out of the skulls of my enemies. Uh, my enemies are apparently small and made of glass. But we pour it back in there for the second filtering. Taste test time. Ah, the aroma first. And it is really lemony. It's really picked up a really genuine uh, lemon smell. Yeah. Mmm, 
It's interesting, it really doesn't taste like vodka. It's got this... Oh, it tastes like vodka going down, I take that back, but it really does have a nice, gentle, sort of natural lemon flavor. Now, that was tasting it straight. I'm gonna try it mixed with some soda to see what it's like as a mixer. Here's my lemon vodka on the rocks with some soda water. That is a refreshing drink. Well, you can see side by side, predictably, the lolly one as a much stronger color than the natural lemon one. Uh, this one definitely had to be filtered twice, got the cloudiness out. Uh, but now I'm going to taste test the lolly flavored one. This does not smell like lemons. This smells like vodka. Mm. That has not picked up that much of the lolly taste. It still tastes mostly like vodka. We'll try mixing it with some soda water and see what that's like. Here we are, uh, lemon sweet tarts and vodka on the rocks with soda water. And that is not a bad drink. In all seriousness, and I'm not completely surprised by that, in terms of actual flavour, flavouring it with the lemon peel uh, tastes way better. This tastes fine, and of course it's got a stronger colour, so if you're into visuals, you'll probably want to use lollies to colour and flavour the vodka. But if you actually are going for taste, definitely use the lemon peel. You get a nice little shade of lemon in there and the taste is really good. Cheers.